because it's a fusion of both. I appreciate lecturing a lot, but I've learned that's not the world anymore. You know, purely lecturing is not going to work, although it's great, but we know we are in different generation. We have to adapt to our context, contextual, you know, uh, students and era. And, and so using technology just for the sake of technology, it, we have to be careful about this, but blending it, you know, carefully and thoughtfully to our learning objectives and our teaching goals, this is what makes a difference. For both students and instructors, uh, these platforms um, are sort of a uh, diagnostic tool, if you will. And of course, for instructors, one of the main benefits of uh, such platforms is that they are uh, the least time consuming tools uh, to provide formative assessments and uh, extra practice material for the students. But I think from a student standpoint, one thing that's really stood out is accessibility. For students, they don't have to worry about having something at a particular place. They can access it from their phone, from their iPad, from whatever. And that for us means better results in terms of students actually completing the assignments. And we're not just doing that with the aim of sharing, you know, innovative ideas and all of this but we're also going to be talking about a lot of the challenges that technology presents like academic integrity and generative ai and what that means so i think sharing is the key in addition to basically trying to stay ahead of the curve and continuing to learn and when that learning can be from each other then you're even more efficient